In Echo 101, we covered how to create, configure, and use journals. We also showed you what they look like from the student perspective. In this video, we will go into more depth by discussing the different ways journals can be used. Let's get to it. Unlike Echo's assignment activity that is designed to accept one student's submission on a specific due date, the journal activity type is designed for multiple student entries over time. The submissions become a collection that can be reviewed in its entirety. If the journal is set to be a graded item, teachers will score the overall student interaction or contribution rather than individual entries. Let's consider a few examples of journals being used in different classroom settings. First, we'll take a look at a daily or a weekly check-in. Nearly any class can benefit from more regular check-ins with students, but this is even more important when learning is virtual. This type of journal might ask students to share how they are doing personally, their feelings about the course content, or ways their learning could better be supported. Using a journal this way can help build positive classroom culture and stronger student-teacher relationships. It's also a way for teachers to understand what mindset students are coming to class with building teacher empathy for student experiences. Another way to use a journal would be for a science lab. This is an example of a content-specific application of the journal. Students can use the journal tool to capture their process, observations, findings, and conclusions for a multi-day or multi-week science exploration. This avoids the problems of collecting, reviewing, and returning lab notes during the experiment. And unlike daily lab assignments, teachers only need to score one item at the end of the lab. You can also use journals for reflection. Use a journal to capture students' own observations as well as reflections about their learning. During the course of projects or other activities, ask students to pause and capture their thinking in the moment or to respond to a specific focus or a prompt. Up next, we have the reading journal. For classes that encourage students to read books outside of class, a reading journal can help students and teachers track reading progress and help students think more deeply about what they are reading. Teachers can leave the prompt open-ended to see where individual students take it or create specific prompts to guide learning in a certain direction. Journals can also be used for skill practice. Teachers can use the journal to give students opportunities to practice specific skills. For example, responding to questions based on texts they have read, identifying the main idea of a text, grammar practice, writing skills, and more. Teachers can monitor students and provide extra support for those who need it. Teachers can score the journal as a whole or leave it unscored and use a separate assessment to assess the skill they were practicing in the journal. Another example would be to use a current events journal. Sometimes it's hard to find time for incorporating current events or bringing up an interesting article that might not tie well into your project. A current events themed journal could be an activity that runs alongside project work and lasts all year. Teachers can use the journal to provide a space for thinking about important things that might not always be on topic. Journals can also be used as a personal writing space for students. For courses that are designed around creativity or personal growth, the journal can give students a place to exercise free thinking. A poetry journal for a writing class or an emotional log for an advisory class might have a few guidelines on what students could post. The final example for today would be using journals as an activity log. Physical education courses could use the journal to help students track fitness goals and progress. Internship courses could use the journal to log hours, tasks, and new learning. We hope these examples give you more insight into how journals can be used as well as spark some of your own creative ideas. No matter how you plan to use the journal activity type, it has some distinct advantages over other individual assignments or paper-based journals. Journals allow teachers to review digitally without having to collect physical journals, Reduced time spent scoring student work by creating a collection of student submissions rather than individual assignments. Teachers to see student progress over time in one place rather than reviewing multiple documents. Spend some time now thinking about how the journal activity could be used to improve student learning in your classes and how you might introduce it to students. <laughs>